Shut up. All right, it's 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 time, y'all. You know what time it is already. You you know the time. It's Friday night. And how we we need to go to Mexico. We need to go where Donald Trump wants to put a wall at. But there ain't no Mexico places in here. So I guess the Bell Center in Canada will work. We could put in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. That Brazil works. Alright. It's time to get some UFC broadcasted fights. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's get some stuff going, okay? Alright, we got we got hell of a fights tonight. We got four fights ending off with a title fight between Glover Teixeira and going to challenge the belt and he's going against the one the only Alexander Gustafson So here we go, first match, and we're gonna have Mike Easton take it on Eric Perez. I'll be Eric Perez. Follow him on the US EA Sports um, um, UFC Mobile. Use Eric Perez. All right, we're out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. We should get some hometown hero. You know, we're not from we're from New Mexico. We're in Mexico. Yes. Okay, here we go, man. I'm so pissed off. I was I was doing my career mud, and I get a I get some phony ass shit happens to me. I mean, I'm winning a whole fight. It's like only three minutes long. This dude's not touching me. He hits me with one knee, and then it's over. And I'm trying to figure out what the hell happened. I mean, I think the did the death shot hit me or what? I mean, that was some bull. I mean, it really was some bull. Damn, good shot. Uh, I wish I could see that one comment. Lance, you had the one comment up there? Great. Hmm. We go, we gotta track him down. <laughs> right now we're having a little bit of issues. Damn, he caught me good.
There we go. Move to the outside. Moving to the outside, you know. I think we lost that round, actually, to be honest with myself. Ah, uh, yeah, I definitely think we lost that last round. We didn't, we didn't get him, we couldn't get him to the ground, the one little try, attempt to take down. And he just had a, some good shots. Now Uppercup was really the turnaround of the whole fight. So let's see if we get her all to what we want to do we want to box we want to kick you know and we had it in a stand-up game and we just weren't able to do it much so let's turn this fight around here and let's do this You gotta land a good head kick. There we go, and again, more excitement. Good takedown. Whoa, good cat. <laughs> We're definitely getting some fireworks here. Man, good shots. Damn, he caught me going for a high kick to suplex me. I'm Perez. Just getting taken to beat up. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, East is just taking it to us right now. He's just been more fluent than we've been.
Damn. Got you. I hear you. Whoa, whoa, both fighters in trouble. Easton gets the takedown though. Definitely going at it aggressive, and Easton, he's following suit. We're just trying to get that knockout somehow. We'll try to. And Easton now, now is doing probably what he should do and run. Got a last takedown. You know, Easton won the fight. He was the better fighter. I mean, but we did give him a little bit of a beat down on his face. I mean, you gotta give Easton his credit right there. I mean, you gotta give him a hell of a victory. I mean, he did his he did what he was supposed to do. He did his job. He came in there. He saw. He he fought and he conquered. I mean, I mean, much respect to him. That's everything you're supposed to do. I mean, I can't fault the brother. I mean, he he won the fight. I mean, he was more active from both parts besides the third round where we definitely were trying to get that knockout. Maybe I should have fought more aggressive like that the whole fight. <clears throat> so we, we, we took the first loss here today. Let's try to get back on that winning horse. Let's see our next fight here. Ooh. 
Oh, it's Diego Sanchez in that division. Let's see what we got online right now. I know there's someone on there. Yeah, let's fight. And let's see, we don't want anything in these divisions right here. We just want to go featherweight and welt the way here. Wait in the transition. Okay. And after this, we're going to go straight to main event time. And who do I want? Who do I want? I want the Tyron Woodley, the, the Phenom? No. I don't want Tyron Woodley, actually. Now, Sanchez is just too mediocre to go for in a situation like this online fight. I gotta go to who I'm comfortable with, and I'm very comfortable right now. I'm on a little bit of a win streak with George St. Pierre. I mean, I gotta go with St. Pierre here, the Canadian. One of the pound for pound greats. <laughs> All right, we know who we are. I know who I am. Let's do this. St. Pierre Pettis should be a good one. You know what we're going to try to do here. Use them light kicks. Oh, get off your ass. And there we go, take down. And let's go to another one. And there we go, there's the takedown. Right kicks. And there we go. Go with the takedown. When she goes to try to move them legs, we got to use our takedown game. It may be boring. It it may not be the most entertaining style, but, you know, it gets it, it wins fights. 
And that's what GS. Whoa, oh, not this shit again. All right, we're up, we're up. I don't know why that keeps happening to me with the knees to the stomach today. It's got to be something I'm doing wrong. I don't know what the fuck it is. I, I got to look it up. Why? What's making me vulnerable to knees to the stomach? him down anyway close round I mean he definitely got hit me with two big shots that knocked me down but I was able to get up pretty quickly I mean, different judges may score that differently that may be a split round but I was able to take him down with ease and that's what we're gonna try to do There we go, another takedown, another takedown. Keep getting rocked. I mean, come on. Let's kill the takedown game. Let's just go to that. I mean, he can't stop it. He has no takedown defense. He has no ground defense. I mean, he's been able to hit me with good shots that almost got me, but he, once he goes to the ground, you know, I've been able to neutralize him. And I, I really have strengthened my ground game. If you look at my earlier fights, that was actually my weakness. And I think it's starting to become my strength. So, all right, third round. Don't want to do anything stupid. So, you know, we're going to go to. 
suplex him because he has no idea how to stop the suplex of GSP. There's none. He can't stop it. He couldn't stop it if he wanted to stop it. Now he want to go to the ground. Oh, now he's having the thigh clinch like I can't stop that. Right, goes for the head kick, then we just grab the leg. It's weak because it's it's trying to carry all that body weight of him. Now right, let's get on top of him. He gave us the back. And there we go. Let's go with a little bit of that takedown on them this time. Mm. Hold on a second. I really can't look back right now. Shit. Oh, he's got to take down this time. Boom! And I think we were able to win that fight right there. Hell of a fight win right there. And that's what we want to do right there. That was a good fight win. I mean, he had made some good shots right there. That front leg kick. I thought it was a knee. <laughs> I was just a paranoia about what happened to me in my career mode. I mean, they're showing all these things he's knocked me down. But what about all the takedowns? Twenty eight, twenty eight, thirty, twenty seven. Yeah. Should be GSP. Yes, thank you. Thirty, twenty seven, thirty, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty eight. What was that judge saying? You don't see many majority decisions, and you see split decisions. You may see a draw, but very rarely you see a majority decision in USC. No, that judge was smoking. I wonder if I'm going to get my... I don't know if I'm going to get my promotion. I don't think I'm going to be delegated, but I'm going to be in purple belt again. I lost a couple early fights, but um, that's it with the online ranked. I'm going to do REA Sports League Championship fight coming up next. Last fight of the day, and it's going to be Alexander Gustafson versus Glover Teixeira. Five rounds for the UFC light heavyweight title of the world. And you know who I'm going with. I'm going with the Mauler. That's who, the champion of the world. 
in in a video game that is. But Alexander Gustafson over here. Let's put Glover's just straight. Why do I do that? I don't even know my ABCs. <laughs> Been easy to just do that. All right, here we go. Make that championship fight, and let's do this. Uh, about that online rank fight. Um, yeah, I know it was kind of boring, and that's why I don't like broadcast online rank fight because I I fight differently online. Like I want to give you guys a show, you know, and I don't feel like I do that enough because you know. With, with these fights on the CPU, you know, I can give that show. I can fight the way the fighter fights. Online, you know, you got to fight more to how to counteract your opponent. You know what I mean? Your opponent doing all that wild and crazy stuff. You got to do a takedown and stuff. You can't get in them brawls because it, 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 it really messes up your rating. And that's not how you win fights. There we go. Hold on, I like this. All right, let's do this. Title fight.
And we know Gosselin with that jab. If you already saw the, the Cornier broadcast. And that's weird for Glover to share. Just gonna lick Gustin up out of that position. And yeah, there's a suplex from Gustafson. Got his arm loose. There we go. This is what we want to do. That's the game of Gustafson. Range, them kicks. And the takedown right there. And that was a good first round for Gustafson. Good first round for Gustafson, even on the cut over the top of the eye. It's not a good sign. I don't know if they stop fights in this game due to blood. It'd be very interesting. Like Easton in that fight we had, our first fight here. I mean, I busted him open. And not stop it. I don't think you can get a fight stopped here because of like, you're just cut open. I need to just not you get I know cuts do affect because you get cut open so much you get like the the damage done I just think they knock you out with a knockout animation which I, I like you know, like cuts do affect the thing but it should be a thing where and I know some people say it's annoying that you know some fighters just bleed but that's part of the sport and I think they need to add that if it's not added maybe I'm I just never seen it Let me, Anybody who's watching, ever seen it happen, please comment. Whoa, good kick from Gustafson. Whoa. Good shot. 
Some kicks. Trying to take him down there. Gustafson. Right there, I mean, we keeping it, and this fight is very weird. Both fighters fighting along the cage, but it hasn't, hasn't went to the cage. Now, Gus to share again that inside position. But I think it's because we're doing a good job controlling the range here. Definitely playing a little bit more cautious with that cut over the eye. Don't want to get hit hard and knocked out and lose the title here. We are catching them around the house. We get a takedown here.
Okay, I mean, our cut is getting ugly. I guess we could figure out if th they do stop fights with cuts. But, I mean, I don't think they'll even do this in real life with a UFC title on the line. I don't think it will ever happen. So, here we go. Fourth round, championship rounds. I think Gustin has won all three rounds. Have we done three rounds? Yes, we have. I didn't want to sound retarded, but I already, I think it was too late for that. And the knees are pounding. Getting some good shots. Could have a tap out here. And we do! Gustafson gets him the tap out! And there's a taunt! And that was it. Reverse triangle submission hole. Able to get the tap out victory. And Gustafson moving on. As he is still the champ. And the Undisputed Championship staying home with Gustin. Next week, we will be on on Black Friday. I'm not going to be out there with the massive crowd shopping. And I'll give you my opinions about Black Friday if anybody's interested. I, I doubt if anybody's interested, though. But anyway, all of that and more next week when Henderson will defend his title, excuse me, against a person to be named later that I have not clue who the hell it will be. But Benson Henderson will defend. And we threw slightly more strikes, and they, most of that came in round number one. And he threw more in round number two. We threw more in round number three, and he threw a little bit more in round number four.